Hey all my Crimsonites and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel where we embrace our femininity, increase our womanly value, and celebrate our brothers. So join me on our feminine journey to learn, heal, and grow. Hey there, my Crimsonites, and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel. I'm your host, Femininity Coach, and author the Crimson Cure, and this is my perspective. So what I want to talk to you guys today about is this story that I I have been hearing about, about a 14-year-old girl in PG County who has been charged as the mastermind between, uh, for a hit that she apparently allegedly uh, tried to arrange to get her fellow 14 year old um, classmate. She tried to get him deleted. Now they're not saying what exactly happened, what kind of dispute was going on between him, the, the, the young boy victim And the girl that arranged for him to be deleted, it didn't happen, you know, thank goodness. It didn't actually happen, but it wasn't for lack of trying. Um, They never go into the actual story of it. What was the history between the young man, uh, the young boy, and the girl? What kind of dispute, what kind of argument, what kind of disagreement did they have um, in order to get to a place where she was trying to have him dealt with, okay? And then she got, what was it, two other boys around the same age, 14, 15 years old, to participate in it. So basically, they cornered him on a school bus and the two boys, she wasn't on the bus, but she had arranged it. She called them to let them know that the young boy was still on the bus. So they, in a little masks or whatever, get on the bus and attempt to delete this young boy at point blank range. They said they held the gun to the little boy chest, pulled the trigger a couple of times, but the gun must have jammed or something like that because the young boy didn't get shot. So I'm going to read the article because this is, I'm, I just have to read the article. I'm not going to play the... um. I'm going to try to make it bigger, though, so you guys can see it. But I'm not going to play the um, the video because the news video, sometimes they still want to strike you or whatever. Anyways, said mother of 14-year-old targeted in Prince George armed bus attack speaks out is hurtful. Prince George is PG, PG County or what have you. Okay. So this is in Baltimore. A $12,500 reward is being offered for information that leads to an arrest and conviction for teen accused of attempted murder on a school bus earlier this, this month. The suspect who goes by Baby K is a 15-year-old boy facing adult charges of attempted murder. Police said around 4.55 on May 1st, three people boarded a school bus. Excuse me. One of the suspects later identified as Baby K displayed a handgun and attempted to shoot a 14-year-old multiple times, but detectives believe the weapon malfunctioned. Ammunition was recovered from the bus. So this is the young man that they're saying is holding the gun, the Baby K boy. This is the other boy 
And this, I believe, is supposed to be the victim. I'm not sure because that looked like the back of the bus. Um, the victim suffered minor injuries during the assault. The victim's mother, who wished to remain anonymous, said it's been really tough in the weeks following the attack. It's hurtful, she said. I can't eat. I can't sleep. My life can't go back to anything close to normal. The preliminary investigation revealed the suspects and a 14-year-old were known to each other. So everybody knew everybody. Wow. Preliminarily, the attempted murder stemmed from a dispute. Three of the four suspects wanted in this investigation are in custody. The suspects are a 14-year-old boy from Suitland, a 15-year-old boy from Temple Hills, and a 14-year-old girl from Oxen Hill or Oxen Hill. They are charged as adults. Police, police believe the 14-year-old girl was the mastermind in the attack. On the day of the girl's suspect's court hearing Monday, Prince George County State Attorney Aisha Braveboy said, we hear parents say, my child's a good child. They weren't involved. I can't believe it, but believe it, it happens. Unfortunately, far too often in our communities, young people are making adult decisions that have adult consequences. Baby K is charged as an adult with attempted first degree murder, attempted second degree murder, assault, firearms offenses, and additional charges. Until he's arrested, the victim's mother says she won't be able to rest easy. I just want him off the street. She said, I don't want him to do this to anyone else's child. Okay. So let me stop sharing. They aren't releasing the young victim's names or the other two boys or the girl um, because they are minors. Even though they are going to be charged as adults. I get I guess they are releasing the baby K boys um picture because they are fearful since he was the gunman that he might have you know the cojones to actually shoot somebody because he was going to actually do it. He wasn't bluffing, he wasn't playing. They were going to actually do that. The thing here that is interesting to me is that they starting so young with several things that we see in older people. The young black girl and the setting you up for a fight. Booking you for fights. Booking you for to get deleted. Setups. Being able to call upon other black males to do their dirty work for them, to do their bidding for them. This dynamic starts young. And this is and this speaks to what's going on in these households and what these young adults, these teenagers are witnessing, what they hearing, what they exposed to not only on social media, but what they're exposed to in their house. How many setups you don't watch? Not just on social media, but how many setups you don't watch the mama do? How many setups she watch our aunties do or the other women in her family? Where she get that? Cause she didn't just pop up with that. Where did she get? See, she see this is what it speaks to. It speaks to. That's where she got that from. They getting it out of these households with you heathens. You hyenas are raising future hyenas and training them well because she was able to get a couple of young simps, a couple of young son husbands with something to prove and convince them under whatever story she told them. Who knows what the story was? Because we don't even know what the initial so-called problem was in the first place between her and the other young boy that would even put her in a mindset is to have her little friends or whoever that she thought might actually carry that out to go and try to actually carry that out. Now, had the gun not jammed or malfunctioned or whatever it was, had the gun not done that, 
then we're not talking about attempted murder. We're talking about murder one. Murder one, murder in the first degree is premeditated murder. Meaning you thought about it, you planned it, you tried to put things in motion. You was trying to do something to somebody. You was trying and you succeeded. So that would be murder in the first degree, okay? Premeditated murder. Now we're looking at attempted murder in the first degree. Because you tried, it just didn't work. But it wasn't because there was no plan. It wasn't because there was no attempt made on this young man's life. Now, we don't know if this was not, they don't not, they're not saying that it's gang related or whatever. So we don't know if it's gang related. See, stuff like this used to be 100% gang related. Stuff like this used to be gang related. If, if you could pop up at 1415 with a gun, excuse me, you was probably running the street and you probably in a gang. And if... There's some kind of dispute. It's probably a gang dispute. Y'all caught another gang member up, caught him up. But we don't know none of that, right? None of the details have truly been released as of yet to the public about exactly what were the circumstances that actually led up to a moment where we got this 14-year-old girl having previously arranged for another 14-year-old classmate to get murked by utilizing two other boys to do so. Starting young with that proxy violence. This is what we're talking about. This is the main thing that we're talking about. The starting young. We see the hyena proxy violence and then we see the son, husband, simp chip activated because they're going to i guess defend her or take up for her or hurt this boy on her behalf for what for what i don't care if she giving up that little you know inexperienced little box she got i don't care if she doing that no reason to Ruin the rest of your life. Now you're going to get charged as an adult. Now you got to have a whole court hearing. Now you got to have, now all of the details got to be fleshed out in a court of law. Everybody got to be involved. Y'all getting charged as adults. So they're going to release your information and all that kind of stuff. You got to go to the big boy prison and the big girl prison. Because they're not going to take it easy on you because you, you little black kids that done did it. So they looking for an opportunity anyway. All you did was give the system an excuse to do what they do. Oh, you want to cause trouble? You want to be troublemakers? You want to go around and, you know, try to murk people and all the other kind of stuff? Fine then, come on. We're going to treat you like the adult that you're trying to be. She thought she was going to get away with it because she's the girl and she wasn't physically there. They, they not saying she was physically there. So she thought she would get away with it. And so many times they actually do get away with it. She should be charged with attempted first degree murder as well for being the mastermind. I don't know what they're going to charge her with, but the consequences need to come. And because there have not been any stiff consequences for black women, and in this case, black girls, setting men up, setting boys up, setting them up to be killed. There has not been any stiff consequences for that. This is why she felt comfortable even doing it. Because she didn't care if them boys got caught up. She just cared about whatever she was trying to get accomplished. She didn't care about the aftermath or the consequences of any of it. And you can't tell me that they don't know. At 15, 14 years old, you know what death is. You know that's the end. You know that's not no fight. You know that's just not no argument. 
You know that if you get baby K, baby K, you need to come up here. You know, all that little kind of crazy stuff. You know, if he come up there with his little gun, that's why you called him. You know, if he come up there with his little gun, he ain't bluffing, he ain't playing. He was going to try to do that boy. It just didn't work. She did not care about what was going to happen after that. The only thing she cared about is not being implicated later. And that that other boy that she was having a problem with or whatever was gone. That's all she cared about. They start that young. How, these hyenas raise them young like that. That's how they get 20 doing it. That's how they do it at 18 because they're willing to do it at 14. They do it at 30 because they're willing to do it at 14. They do it at 22 because they're willing to do it at 15. They do it at 26 because they're willing to do it at 16. Do you understand that? This is not something new that they just pop up with once they grown. This is something that they've been cultivated. It's been cultivated in, in, in hyena culture, in the gynocratic culture of the black community. This is what girls is getting taught how to do. It's such a serious conversation. We may need to speak on this in depth in a different way, but I definitely wanted to bring this to everyone's attention. Um, jump down in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Like, share, subscribe to the channel if you've not. Once again, I'm your host of Crimson Secure, and this was my perspective. Bye-bye, Crimson Knights.